My traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, the dawn is breaking on the stage that holds our final destiny. So, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, the show must go on. Okay, so I'm in a completely good mood today. And the thing is, I think we're going to get like some kind of positive message. And when I was shuffling, like I did hear a yes on that. So I'm getting the collective a player character because as we all know, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, in the sovereign age, no one is an NPC. We are all player characters. Um, anyway, I don't know if I'm just in a really good mood or if it is the energy of the read. I don't know. I was hearing it is, but sometimes, you know, my signals get crossed. I'm not perfect. Oh no. Oh, wait, no, this is good. Good. <laughs> we have good news. <sighs> yes. All right. Something. And I was seeing this, like on one of the splits, I did see like the five of swords and the nine of swords, which I know isn't good energy, but I was getting something like this has been defeated. Like this is done. And the thing is, what I have here is like robbery and homeless. It's like there was something going on that was bad. I don't know if it was something going on surrounding you or like y'all were target. I mean, you know, we had have had the dark wizards, you know. Um, but the robbery and homeless doesn't necessarily strike me as someone actually trying to rob you. It was someone like behaving in a sneaky way, possibly to take something from you. Um, I mean, we'll see what comes out on the table, but it seems more like to leave you like ostracized in some way or feeling bad or down about yourself. But something happened. I don't know if like this is your guides. I'm hearing it might have been your people, your protection or other people who are just on your side. Someone saw this happen. Okay. And they were like, hey, evildoer, stop. <laughs> in the name of the law, in the name of the moon, we're punishing you. Okay, so what I have here is y'all are smooth sailing, it's calm, everything is okay, because we have the good news. Of course, you know, Jesus was murdered by the state over the good news, so you know. I don't know. I think probably we're in a place of blessings as well. Oh my gosh. Maybe we're in a better frame of mind so that when I bring you some good news, Maybe you won't like nail me to a cross and poke me with a spear. Um, we'll leave blessing up. It's underneath the deck. Oh, I didn't even look what was underneath the player character deck. A ghost girl. We have a wraith here. That's probably some of y'all's guides or something. We have a ghost girl and a demon boy. I'm feeling like, like I know all of these player characters are like supernatural beings, but I feel very much like there are protective energies around y'all. That's what I feel like. And then this fawn girl and mermaid girl and this mermaid boy, like these are like the relaxed energies. It's like y'all are cool to be like calm and chill and relax because you have freaking wraiths and demons and banshees and like angels of war and like all kinds of stuff like fighting on your behalf. That's just what happens when you're in the collective. Like what can I say? Okay, so where are we going now here? So I didn't have any downloads really. It was just kind of like, oh, the energy just feels really good, which I'm kind of surprised because I was feeling kind of lackluster, like towards the end of this week, like really just kind of like, mm. so I was kind of expecting to be a bit like meh today, but not so. Well, this says choose a new direction. I don't think this is y'all, it's somebody else. Somebody around y'all has chosen a new direction into forgiveness, um, likely with whatever that bad stuff was. Um, and they are asking for some sort of assistance from others, but they're ready. That you're ready, that's more them. Um, unless you are identifying with that energy, you know you were involved with something. Um, but it looks like whatever choice this person is um, making is going to potentially like work out for them. But um, 
it might be a little while before they actually move if there is going to be any actual contact and this is not just a sign that like if you were experiencing any distress over anything like going on around you like you can relax it's all been taken care of this is a no okay oh i was supposed to do something before this and i didn't do it Here's that gift again. A gift from an official person who is perhaps once, oh no, I'm saying, I was gonna say perhaps this official person was perhaps once a false person. Nay, this person is innocent, but somehow they were involved with false people. Unexpected income is not striking me as income, it is striking me as evidence. There were evidence with there was some sort of evidence that this person saw in this house, like with these people. And that house, like I know there's like a community card in the Kipper deck, but sometimes like house will show up as like close family or um, someone's body or um, like a, a magical lodge or a literal like house, you know what I mean? But this is kind of giving me the impression that somebody was in a small intimate community of people that met regularly every day so house could also exist online like that could be a forum or a discord server or a group chat or something like that like there was a location involved in this and what they saw of these people like there was one sort of like expectation is whoever that official person is they had one sort of idea about these people and then the longer they watched they saw that these were actually like the community is in bad health and so now this person is like there's something about this mature man and this mature woman and lovers um i'm not seeing that as like a i'm seeing that more as a friendship or partnership or allyship right now because whatever this person is seeing of somebody else or another community whatever they are thinking that they would have like better outcomes with this other person. Um, so yes, they are journeying away from these like this bad energy and they want to get into deeper. When I say intimacy, I just mean like getting to know someone better. And it's like, it has something to do with um, doing something with them. Because yeah, I think this person, whoever they are, that bad health of that community or the false people, whatever, it had them taking some L's. But now we have sudden wealth. Sudden wealth with blessing, I'm telling y'all. The energies are nice. They are nice. See, it's like this king of wands with the, there's that five of swords again on the split. Like kind of looking and going like, ooh, no. Maybe these people aren't for the best. So that king of wands was kind of looking over his shoulder. <sighs> Well, there's a conflict, five of wands, being sorted out. Here it is being sorted out, hierophant, that's an organizing force, the hierophant sometimes, um, and justice as well. Balancing, organizing the chaos um, and moving away from it. And there's like our lovers, right? Our lovers have come back. Something like some sort of relationship that this person feels would be a better long-term investment because like, oof, nothing but tears over here. Nothing but tears. And so there's a lot of like light shown on this situation for whoever this is to kind of get a move on because there was some loss here. There were some losses here, perhaps from when maybe one person in, well, now I see two people here. There are two people here. Um, ugh. Ugh. These people, no good. 
And then this other person was like showing as the King of Wands. They're now showing as the King of Cups, looking for a particular community elsewhere in the world. And there was a Queen of Cups underneath here. These people, Emperor, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. No good, no good. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands from that Queen of Wands. Like, oof, it's a lot of energy. But okay, so who is the player character? Oh, we have a Goblin Boy. Are y'all in y'all's little hovels just like, ah, oh, we're not doing anything until the chaos goes away? Imagination, I think like, um, I don't know. Y'all may be kind of a little bit like, when I say hikikomori, like that's like extreme. I just mean like, I don't know, depending where you are in the world, it's winter time. Maybe you want to be bundled up. Maybe you want to have your snacks. Maybe you want to be with your video games or your writing or your art or whatever it is that you're doing. Or like you build models or something, I don't know. But it's something that is a little bit more like, even if you're doing it with another person, this seems like more like quiet creative work together and just being like kind of cozy and hunkered down. Like that's what that's striking me as at the moment. Though I would say like, whenever I see that goblin boy, I'm usually like, watch the hygiene okay like if you're going if you're not leaving the house and you're like well i don't need to take a shower today or whatever don't chain that into a habit all right like keep up with your hygiene okay um because you and your partner um or your roommates are ever going to be like little stink goblins all right we don't want that <laughs> you don't want that all right so This is the person, okay, whoever this Queen of Swords is, like, they're cool. This might be y'all, it might be someone else, I don't know. Whoever that Queen of Swords is, this is a person of high honor and, like, an action taker. She or he, if this is a he, this is, like, a general or, like, a lieutenant or something. Like, this is someone who, like, does something. But I was also getting this as someone taking action towards whoever this Queen of Swords is. Like, this person has a good reputation. Yeah, because whoever this, okay, this is the same person. Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Same person. Think, and you can see, like, they're talking about the qualities of this individual. So I just told you, they're like a general. They take action. They're someone of high honor. Um, so po more positive qualities of the Queen of Swords. They're logical. They're smart. They're cunning. They're quick-witted. They're funny. They're intellectual. Um can have a biting sense of humor and be a bit cynical, but like in a sly way. Um, also knows when to like fight. She, she knows when to hold them and knows when to fold them, okay? Um, but that's not like fighting for no reason. And then this nine of pentacles, this other aspect, it's a softer aspect of this person. There is wealth surrounding this person, luxury, good health on the health spectrum, no matter where you are, because you can be in good health and also be like, dealing with a disability or a chronic health issue. That doesn't mean you are absent wellness. Um, but like things grow around this person. This person is good vibes. So we have here improving health and adjudication just means that this person's energy is balanced. And the improving health is things grow and flourish around whoever that person is. In the near future pathway, Four of Swords. Okay, so someone, this is another energy. This is someone, obviously, they're taking a time out, taking a breather. Maybe they're self-reflecting. They could be recovering if they've dealt with any illness. Because, of course, if this person is in colder weather, that's like, they could have caught like a little minor bug or something like that. But it seems more like exhaustion of whatever that, let's see, I haven't seen any of the negative stuff pop up in the read as of yet. I've only seen it underlying the deck or the decks. And then lastly, oh, here we go. Listen to your intuition imprisonment. This person, this other energy might have been like getting, <sighs> 
This other person might have been getting certain signals to do things a lot sooner than they actually did them, but their own, in, like they had blocked their intuition. Like this four of pentacles can come up as a blockage and this person, this energy, whoever they are, they're being represented by two fours, which is very stable energy, but it is an active energy at the moment. This also could be a reflection of this person um, being unable to act right now. Um, they're not imprisoned necessarily, but they are unable to move likely with good reason. Like there's some reason why they need to be like in a more quiet, stable place right now. And that's giving me more of this like goblin boy energy and not so much this right here. Like it's this energy over here that to me is being represented by this goblin boy in imagination because they're the ones resting. Okay. But if they want to eventually take action onto this energy over here, that would explain why they are the player character and also being represented by a boy. Um, that Four of Pentacles also with that Four of Swords, there might be something physical going on with this person. So we saw bad health, right? They might have had some um, both mental and physical issues from whatever they were dealing with before. This Four of Swords and this pathway, this is also some sort of transformation process with the butterflies here. But it is more likely in the near future that energy is just going to get up and move. There's something on that Four of Pentacles that's like collecting myself, I'm collecting myself. Okay, yeah, so I had seen the King of Wands looking at the Five of Swords in this kind of, I, I don't know if this is like the Golden Tarot, I don't know what it is, but um, in this split we have the King of Wands now coupled with the Five of Cups. So whatever this King of Wands, King of Cups, I'm saying that that is going to be our Goblin Boy has been doing, it hasn't been for the best for them. So I'm gonna go ahead, these first two columns seem like the more inactive columns, but I'm gonna go ahead and clarify them briefly as like one. So I'm looking at take action high on a queen of swords, improving health, adjudication, nine of pentacles, kind of as one thing, because they're just talking to me about qualities of the same individual. King of Cups, Four of Wands. There's see this this is the person who our King of Cups would like to like eventually come and talk to, whatever, and is very this they whoever this person is, they do find them very attractive, but there's something going on here with the energy. This wheel of four. Oh no no no, it's not the energy, it's they're watching some sort of drum like change. They're watching some sort of change with this nine of pentacles person but it's sort of like some kind of drastic change. And like they, like, they are stationary. So this Knight of Cups, King of Cups, King of Wands, this Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, King of Wands, they are stationary right now. That's that stationary energy. It is because of this tower that they are currently healing from and transforming from. And there's that couple again underneath the deck. This, the, this couple is never far behind. And they're, and they're brought up by the Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. That's that, ugh. Get them out of here, whoever they are. Because I can just feel them whenever they show up. Even when it's like being represented by like a queen or king of the different suit. I just go, ugh, ugh, them. I don't like them. Don't like them. I can immediately tell who they are and they are immediately followed by some nasty swords energy or some nasty wands energy. So let's see our like um, more inactive passive energy over here who has all of these great qualities and I'm sure some flaws too. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords. We're getting repetitive messages. Hierophant, damn. That's that high honor this person also could be like a lecturer, a teacher, 
They could be some sort of pastor, um, or they could teach, well, they could teach at any level, but Hierophant is usually like collegiate or university, PhD candidate, something like that. Um, they could also be like a high level student in that area because students at that level also tend to teach in some capacity as well. Um, or it's just an indicator that this person is also religious or has a strict moral code. Ace of coins, so like there is some sort of abundance around this person, like material freshness. And the chariot, see like I'm telling like, this person is like, whoo, like everything that's just been like repeated in the clarifiers is just like, that's a boss. Like, I know we don't have the Empress card out right now, but that is a powerful energy. Um, I would say for flaws, there might be a tendency, like, for this person. When I say bully, it's not that they're doing something um, malicious. It's just that sometimes people with very, very strong personalities and character if they're not careful, they can like over talk people or kind of become the most dominating personality or force in the room without really meaning to. And unless you have someone with an equally like powerful energy, like those two can typically like meet each other out and go back and forth. But people with like quieter energies and quieter characters kind of like, well, not, they won't be stepped on, but they'll kind of be drowned out by like the, the louder forces in the room. So that's what I mean. And also if someone like that is not careful, like if they like aren't being mindful of people who might be like people pleasers and stuff um, like that, um, they can end up kind of like uh, running people ragged without meaning to because the other person kind of can assert themselves because um, they're afraid to based on past experiences that have nothing to do with this person. But it's just like, that'll be kind of a flaw for personalities like that. Um, okay, so now we will clarify. No, I'm, I'm getting it as one energy. We're, we're, we're doing the same thing for this person over here, this energy who is likely being these multiple people who y'all will be dealing with or who are you are dealing with that are being represented by this singular energy that I'm discussing. No. Four of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, Two of Swords. <laughs> this is our person or our energy. I mean, those are all, so this person has gone through some, well, I mean, it's in the past, but this is what they're currently recovering from. This Four of Swords, Three of Swords, our King of Wands here, our King of Wands, King of Cups, um, and the Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, can't do it. There's like a physical reason for this. There's like a processing reason, a recovery reason, and there's some sort of physical or material reason. But here is this partnership. And then this Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. Um, but this person is like leaving, like they take the Five of, um, Five of Cups, Two of Swords, this person is leaving this Seven of Swords, Five of Swords shit that was like, they were involved with some sort of like group, well, the three, right? It was this person and then whoever is being represented by, like I told you, they were showing up as like King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Emperor, Queen of Wands, like this person, well, the Emperor was here. And I'm getting like the queen of wands was like the right hand and whoever this person was, was like the left hand, the left hand of the emperor. And that is the truth. That is the truth. And likely this partnership with this emperor went on for a while. I'm getting a while. So like these two people, at least this person and this emperor were like in Congress for a length of time. Yes, this is like, 
strength with the page of wands is like strong communication um strong active communication so that was some sort of long term like friendship working relationship something So what's actually down here? Well, the five of coins. This person is busted. Like they might actually be unwell in some way. Um, I'll look at it if it's not clarified further. Six, this could be their public reputation. Six of wands. Um, that could also just be the way they feel about themselves. Six of wands is sometimes just a confidence level. Your confidence is depleted with this um, issue that they're having with whatever it is from their past experiences and their health. No, it's, their, it's something about their public reputation. Six of wands star. That is something about public reputation character, public character, the world. Something about this person publicly was like wrecked. And like a lot of people know about it. All right, let's go around again. Five of coins. This five of coins, this is what, the hermit. So this person, okay, the five of coins, I don't know if this person is actually sick or anything like that. The five of coins is alone, in like outside. This person has like either been ostracized for something or they have chosen to ostracize themselves. This person could have been put in spiritual jail. Um, I'm hearing by choice though, sort of. It's like half and half death. Something went down here. Something went down here. Obviously. Obviously. Snape. Severus Snape. Four of wands. Public community or public relationship. Um, I'm getting another one on that. Woo! King of Cups. Public, um, public relationship. But I'm getting, it is likely, when I'm talking public relationship, it's a working relationship I'm betting with that emperor. Um, I don't think, I'm going to pull one more, and if like a, a femme energy shows up, then it was something more like that. If a femme energy does not show up, it, they're talking about the relationship between that person and the emperor. It's the king of swords. It's the emperor. The Emperor, because um, the Emperor showed up as the King of Swords with the Queen of Cups. So there is some sort of attack. This person was attacked by that Emperor King of Swords. That's what this is um, symbolic of. This person suffered an attack from this person for some reason. So now Star. So the friendship broke up. Brothers torn asunder. Star Empress. Empress. Well, now we got another person here. Justice. This is a, I told you the Empress wasn't out. It's this person over here with this justice card. So we got Judication over here with that Queen of Swords, Hierophant, Justice. Come on. High honor. All right, but what about... Oh, they could be looking to that person for some reason. Three of Cups. They want to have some sort of like... So I don't know. I'm going to ask, of course, like if there is an existing like knowledge of these two people towards each other. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there isn't with stories like these. So this person either wants to have with this Three of Cups a union or a reunion. Either way, um, these two people either know each other, like all these people know each other, 
or at least this energy over here knows of this like Empress High Honor person, even if the Empress High Honor person doesn't know about them. Oh, um, I was getting like that Three of Cups. This person, like this Ten of Coins is more like community to me at the moment. Like th th this person, like put a death to their former associations or like the community was death, like something. And then that world card. Oh, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Jesus. Well, it's over, whatever it is. What the fuck is that? Woo! Ten, 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 ten of coins, ten of swords, ten of wands. I saw the magician at the bottom of the deck. So something is completely over, but like that was rough energy to go through. Um, okay, this is some sort of fight. Page of Cups, some sort of like, some sort of like heartfelt communication, some sort of passionate communication. It's kind of like an innocent thing. And it's some sort of fight here. Seven of Wands, this is like, oh, okay. It was one, like I'm saying like, this is small. This is small. This is one person, that left hand standing up against many. So they're showing up as the page right here because they had a lot of forces aligned against them with whatever this fight was. So the seven of wands is like this person trying to like um, make themselves heard or like convince people or do something, communicate something true and pure that like, I, I don't, like they had to walk away from that. I don't know. Ooh, queen of wands back. Queen of wands for, it's sort of like nobody listening. People not listening. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what was, why that fight? Page of Pentacles, evidence of something. Evidence. Evidence of why somebody left. Evidence of why somebody left. What's that evidence? Why someone made the judgment call to leave? Or like, well, I mean, we, we said this person was observing like the community in bad health. So it could just be like their personal evidence, but they might've tried to convince other people before they decided to leave. And then like that King of Swords went on the attack. Oh, and oh, this person went up against the emperor. And I don't know if that's the emperor tower. This person had some sort of evidence against this emperor and either the emperor's partnerships with other people or like it's just representative of this person went up against their like, you know, um, their Batman or whatever. Um, Tower Wheel of Fortune Fool. Like this was rough, but it like whatever, it put this person on their own, but now this four of coins is back. Okay. Um, so then why? So this Emperor and the King of Swords, why did the King of Swords attack this person? That's the Emperor. King of Swords, Emperor. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, Nine of Swords. This is something about the relationship again. But I don't know what relationship they're talking. So it's someone talking to someone about a relationship that's causing stress or is stress or is a nightmare, Knight of Cups, High Priestess. That's either something secret or that's like a Queen of Pentacles, it's a person. This person was talking to, oh, okay, whoa. <laughs> 
here's the thing. You know what? Let, no, they're telling me before I pull to just go ahead and say this. In these narratives where we have these two people, right? Usually one's represented by a mask energy and one's represented by a femme and they're like bad, right? They're the villains of the tale. What people usually don't know is that like while it is the femme energy doing the dirty work, the person who is the power behind the power is the mask energy is the emperor. So what I think is going on here is this king of cups, king of wands, took a look at everything and saw all the bad shit going down and they saw the person acting. High priestess, queen of cups, queen of wands, okay? The femme energy. They saw the femme energy acting and they went, hey bro, you know, bros before hoes, this chick is no good. She's the one responsible for this. Unbeknownst to this person, the femme energy was under the mask's energy's control. And so the rude awakening for the, um, the, the left hand of the emperor, the rude awakening for the left hand of the emperor was that A, that the emperor likely defended the partnership or that with the femme energy, um, defended that. And also there was likely some revelation in that moment that it was actually the emperor that was like, okay with all of this. Like the, the left hand only thought that things were going wrong because of this like evil femme energy. No, your bro is actually down, is the architect, is the architect of it all. She is just a tool. Um, and so when this person tried to communicate this, um, and found all this stuff out, cause likely, oh my God, this person would have collected evidence about like, look, she's doing all this stuff behind the scenes. And then once like the emperor saw all the evidence collected, they were like, oh, this is going to get back to me. I better do something about this person. So yes, what this left hand of the emperor said was like, hey, I'm communicating to you about this high priestess, about the femme energy. You need to leave. You need to leave this partnership. Eight of cups it. Bad news. Bad news. Three of swords. It is the relationship that is bad. That's why. That's why. Okay. How, no, okay, I'm going back over here. I want to know how this emperor attacked their left hand. How did they attack? Something with the community, they might have turned the community against them. Well, the person who is investigating the community and found something out and then wanted to talk about it. Talk about it. Hey, 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 you know, oh, yeah, I don't know. There's that six of wands, the star, and then the five of cups, I guess. All right, how did they attack them? This king of swords. Something with the community again. Queen of Wands, they had, they turned the right hand against the left hand. Yes. Whoa, what's that Nine of Cups? Because technically those would all be like positive cards. If I didn't know that that was an attack. The Nine of Cups is, um... Oh, 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 okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. The Nine of Cups is like, so I've got this King of Swords is back again. This like, this King of Swords was like, I am about to be clocked. 
So the he turned the right hand against the left hand, and then like the right the right hand and the emperor, the emperor and his right hand were like, yay, okay, that's why. So what is that queen of wands? The, the he turned the weapon because as we know, the queen of wands, high priestess, is the one who does the actual attacking, not the king of swords, not the emperor. So what did that queen of wands do? Community, discord, magic. Um, oh, um, okay. What? Now I really don't understand because the Queen of Wands is showing up as... The Six of Pentacles, Empress Hierophant. Hold on, let me figure it out. Oh, okay, no, I was right about that. I was fucking right about that. When this Six of Pentacles came out, what I thought to myself was, oh, this person like had some sort of receipts. Like this is evidence. This is physical evidence of something. And with this death card, I was like, oh, that's a bad thing. This Queen of Wands had some sort of like evidence or receipts. And then, but then when the Empress Hierophant came out, I was just like, I don't know what that means now. This was some sort of bad evidence. So receipts or something were brought out. Um, oh, and that might be the Empress and Hierophant might be how these people just present to the community, right? How they present to the community. Okay, we're not going back to the high. I was like, is that the high honor person? The Empress and Hierophant in this instance are how the Emperor and the right hand present to the community. So once the left hand turned against the right hand, and also unbeknownst to them, the emperor, the right hand was then directed to turn against the left hand. They exposed something about the left hand with very, very damaging receipts. And because the emperor and the right hand are like the figureheads in the community, they were likely believed. <gasps> They're saying yes. All right. So what were these receipts? Took me a second. I was like, what? The Empress is back. I hope y'all are following this because I'm just like this and this. Ah, I'm in several layers of intrigue right now. All right, the receipts. The test results say they sucked whatever they were. Ooh, and they had them too. And they shared them with the community. And then the community was like up in arms. Due to the manipulations, this was energy manipulation. The high priestess is that like, she's not really an empress, it's this, um. It's the right hand, the right hand of the emperor. All of this, everything that went on was energy manipulation. Like it's a, a form of magic within the community. I don't know that these are actually magical people. It's just showing up as like death magic because it was designed to destroy someone's reputation. And so the community saw that and then this person was like, oh shit, because the community passed judgment on them because of the receipts. So then they had to be kicked out of like the public community and then they were crying um, and kind of like had to take a seat. That person had to take a seat or they will. I don't know when this is happening. So what did the receipts actually say? The receipt said our King of Wands, that is the left hand, was a traitor, some sort of traitor. A liar, this person's a liar. This person's a liar and we have receipts. 
Um, I'm guessing like lying about us, but I'll check to see what they said that he was lying about. Now we do have the Empress, what was clarifying the Empress star back over here? Oh, the Three of Cups. I said this person wanted like a reunion with that Empress. Because my next question is, how in the hell was this person over here who is the actual Empress, the person of high honor, related to like any of these people? They said that this person like lied to create like problems within the community and that they had to be like locked down. There's that imprisonment card. We have to like, that's like, community jail like it's i guess it's a form of spiritual jail is ostracizing someone and they also said that i don't know oh this is like evidence of um king of wands okay and this kind of nine of swords is backing me up on this i don't know why i'm getting this this way but i'm gonna go ahead and say it i'm getting a yes on it you see how this nine of wands is like a woman sitting in her bedroom and there's like an owl like trying to peek in. Um, I think what they had receipts on was this person, what they had evidence of, what they had receipts on was um, this person getting into other people's DMs, likely other women who they found attractive. Um, and like, Here's the thing, the women would have spoken out against this person. I wanna check this because I kind of have seen this tactic go down before. Um, and it's a very gray area thing. So it's tricky to talk about. So let me pull the cards first before I get into it. And depending on what the cards say, then I will talk about it. Yeah, this is some sort of communication. They're, they lied. Okay. Yeah, they lied. The women lied. Um, okay, so let's just say, right, that this is a man going into attractive, and I'm going to show you the cards here. They lied. The women lied to destroy this person. All right, these were women in the community. I have seen this tactic. And it is, what will happen is there will be like, people will get into others, other people's DMs and they will like get flirtatious or maybe a little bit spicy in the DMs. Within the DMs, the women will be like encouraging and like into it, but then they will screenshot those DMs go back into like another community or another space altogether and go, ah, I can't believe like with this person, blah, 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 blah. like when they are still engaging, like even after they have like gone behind this person's back and started spreading the information to other people, they will still be in the DMs with that other person still behaving like in consensual manner. Like they will never tell the person I'm not like, I've seen it both ways. I've seen people like, immediately tell someone who's been kind of like who shot their shot right it's harmless it is harmless like someone has gotten into someone's dms and gone hey i think you're really attractive and i'm i'm like into you and they might do it in a clumsy way and then the person will go you're a fucking loser like bitch boy get out of here and then they'll screenshot the dm and they'll come back into the group so they can mock that person within the group and then i've also seen it where the person will just continue to talk to the person like they're interested in them and then they will like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me because I'm like, why wouldn't you like the first, the first one makes more sense without the taking a screenshot and mock because why would you like, you are you that desperate for attention? Apparently, um, but you don't need to sh like, just say like, no, thank you. And then like, that's the end of it. Or like block the person if like you're feeling any kind of weird about it. 
Um, so the first one makes a little bit more sense to me. The second one doesn't. I've seen both happen. Um, I've also seen like, it's with the second one more, but like people who have just been pressured, like they've been in gray areas with people, like with like flirtatious stuff. Um, and then like when the time comes to like go for another person, like the community will kind of like have a narrative that they want to like put on someone. And so they'll have a bunch of like screenshots and receipts, right? But like, they'll only show like part of the exchange. They won't show the whole thing or they'll show like the full receipts, but it will come with a very like strict narrative that doesn't actually describe what happened. That's what I'm saying. So on these receipts where they were saying that like this man, if it is a man, was like sexually misbehaving with other members of the community, these were lies for the character assassination. They like, this was in some way constructed. This person likely was in DMs, but I mean, they're showing as the King of Wands. They might have been a bit of a Casanova, but I am not getting like nasty energy off of this person. Like, can we get some on this King of Wands as character, please? At least in like the way that I am talking about. Um, there is something about this person like doing too much, like maybe trying to talk to too, like there is something about this person doing too much. Like they need to, they needed to balance out their own wand energy. But let me see what's here. Well, I have the six of cups, the page of swords. So these were people all talking about this. Per like there is something about... This person like didn't do anything like strictly bad, I don't think. What is that page of swords? But this is almost like this person's shit coming back on them. Yes, this person at some point with these people collaborated. This King of Wands with these people, these like they're showing his past people. These are just people this person knows and these are the women in the group because all of these people work together. At some point, this person with this page of wands teamed up with these other people in immature ways to do this sort of sabotaging work to other people. And so like that needed to stop, but at the same time, it's sort of like this person's shit came back around on them because the same thing that they were collabing to do to other people is now being done to them. So this isn't like a total innocent here, but what is being said about them is also not true. Yeah, like, um, there was some sort of like, when I say sexual indiscretion, I'm not talking about like gross shit, okay? I'm talking about like someone being a fucking goofball. Yeah, this is like someone shooting their shot with too many people like potentially too many people in the community, okay? It's like this person needed to not shoot their shot with too many people in the community. This isn't somebody who was like sleeping with a whole bunch of people I don't get, but it's just like that needed to be more controlled. So this person likely had like shit mouth in the DMs or something like that. And it's potential that these, it, there is the potential possibility that this person was like going after like several options and not telling people. And so then like when all the receipts came out, um, yeah, there was something that needed to be balanced. I'm saying that page, this page energy, it is something like immature about this person in how they're presenting sexually. It is not presenting to me or it's not coming across to me as something that is like violent. It's somebody being like too openly flirtatious and perhaps spicy in casual ways 
with like too many people and likely not telling all of the parties like about it. But the thing is, I don't get that this person ever slept with any of these. Wait, well, hold on. Did this person actually have um, any sort of like actual partnerships going on? Oh, wait, I'm hearing a yes, maybe. Person might've been a whore. That came back on them too. But what I'm saying is this person's not a rapist, okay? That's what I'm saying. Um, they might have been like a fuck boy, but this is not someone who's like, you know what I'm talking about. Like anything I'm seeing, that is the relationship card. This person was talking to, I'm mean, hitting openly partners oh wait something that's not open okay so this person was like five of cups what this person was doing is they were like making it seem like right like you're my one and like the sun you're my sunshine you are my one and only but this person was like lot like that's not lying the eight of swords but like five of cups is like crying over third parties um, that eight of swords is them like saying that to like multiple other people. Eight of swords, six, and also that's like spiritual jail. But there was something going on here like that, that also got this person into trouble. So this person's own behavior with these many different options, with these many different options, got him into trouble because that's how like all of the behavior and all of the receipts and everything else, like all of it ended up coming back to bite this person. Um, okay. So I need to get all of this back because now that we have that whole story out, how the heck is the Empress Queen of Swords nine of pentacles high honor person involved with any of this all right let me clear all this good grief the things going on okay let me give this, this is not the whole deck, here it is. Let me give this a few shuffles and then um, I'm gonna find my Empress in the deck. And I'm gonna get my three people, my Emperor, my um, right hand and my left hand. And then we're gonna see how those people are linked. Okay. Um, there's the right hand. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use the Three of Cups to represent Emperor, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, technically the King of Wands. Um, oof, look, look our Queen of Wands. Could be a Spec Ops dick witch, you never know. Where's our Empress? Well, I'll just use the Queen of Swords. Oh, they're telling me no, I have to use the Empress. Potentially because the Queen of Swords needs to come out for the um, the right hand, potentially, to describe some sort of behavior. I don't know. But they're telling me to find the Empress. There's our Emperor. There's our King of Wands. King of Swords followed by the Ten of Swords. There's the Empress. All right, I'll shuffle it. For good measure. Okay, now this emperor is in this batshit community over here. Ugh. She might not be related or like she was ostracized too at some point. All right, what is the linkage between these people? That's that same card, I think. Oh.
Okay. Who's that Queen of Cups? I'm hearing the Empress. I don't know. Because what I've got on this Empress's side, I've got the Eight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords. This person is either not at all related to these people, or this person has no idea what's going on with these people. Which is it? Okay, here's our King of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So it's possible that there is some sort of, like the Ace of Wands is like a connection, a connection between the King of Cups and the Empress, the person who was the left hand. Potentially, I'm still not quite sure. What is that? That is the Hermit. There is something about, because I'm still not seeing how she might not be related. Whoever that empress is might not be related. Um, because what I'm seeing here is that like, I'm seeing that this King of Cups, the investigation and them going through this conflict, <sighs> like this person, the King of Cups was somehow like supported by this Empress in some way, or like, ins I keep getting inspired by with that like Ace of Wands. The Empress inspired this person's investigation and them going through this conflict and this King of Cups' fight. But I don't know that this Empress has any sort of knowledge of that any of that went on. So what is that Page of Pentacles? Because the Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles is striking me all as like evidence. Yes, this is evidence of like the, like this is foolish. This is like the work, the foolish work that this community did. And then the four of pentacles is like, this um, two of cups card kind of wanted to come out, but like, I don't, I don't know. It may... This is striking me as like the message of like, there is some person who now has receipts on this community and now they wanna to talk to this empress in some sort of way. Yes, that's what they wanna do. Like, cause they wanna, um, like they wanna to travel towards communicate with this empress like either after this queen of wands like defeated him with her evidence why Okay, this is it now. All right, the reason why is I'm gonna pull again, but I mean, I've gotten this message before that somehow, but I'm getting here at like eight of swords, two of swords, but I'm getting like maybe this Empress doesn't know what's going on here or has no knowledge of what's taking place. What I'm getting here is with this Six of Swords is like this Empress left this community a long time ago. Because I have this Six of Cups here. So those two, Six of Swords, Six of Cups are linked. There is a Two of Wands 
separating them but what i'm getting that as is this like king of cups king of wands now somebody is following behind her oh my gosh we're gonna need to wrap this up yeah, this is sort of like i've seen i've seen enough of this community and this person left the empress the person of high honor why was this empress in the community in the first place if i get like a no on this then like she wasn't like i don't know what's going on Wheel of Fortune, devil. I forgot what the fuck question I asked. It was fate? It was fate? Why was this empress associated with this group? This is still fate because this is like the fates. It was fated, it was fated that this person, this empress be, see something. It was fated that this empress see something about how this group does shit. Does like, I'm saying death magic, okay? It's not necessarily magic. Could be, if you know, death magic. How do these people like destroy people? It was a fated event, canon event, unskippable cutscene that this empress saw something within this community. So they could call judgment on it in some way. That was why, ultimately. All right, what's this two of wands? The community. Like, it's that other person. I'm telling you, it's this other, it's the left hand. The sun, like, somebody seeing something clearly about the community. Yes, seeing something clearly about the community. Um, something bad, obviously. So now that person has left. It's like, oh, right, they're bad. Six of cups. And so now these people, the left hand and the empress had to have had some form of contact in the past because they're showing up as past people. So now this person wants to give receipts of the truth of some form of sabotage here. Five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What sabotage? Oh, likely the way that the emperor and the right hand work together. Yes, to cause these burdens um, and they get away like scot-free. So this person now has receipts. On the world, like there's something about this being public. Um, okay. All right, so now we know why. So now these two people are potentially on some sort of collision course, though the left hand cannot act at the moment because like they're jacked. Like they've been TKO'd flawless victory by these other people. Um, I'm gonna put a ball back shuffle. We're gonna get final advice outcome. Oh dear. See, this Ember's already left like a lot of fucked up shit. Like already dealt with it. But for some reason this was like divinely guided. What is that? What is that? Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. It's probably what she saw in the community and the reason, that's why, that's what it is. She, oh, something did come out. Yeah, and she saw what, what these people were doing and was just like, nope, nope. But didn't bother saying anything. So this person's going to communicate and take action publicly. That would be our um, left hand, likely, or they're both going to do that. Let's see. 
Oh, got the Emperor Devil. I don't know the Emperor Devil is speaking against the King of Wands. Oh God. No, this is just reiterating the message. This is um, the community being up in arms and them having to like separate from like other people. Yeah, this is like people getting evidence and like fucking up that person. Um, and then what is that six of wands? This is just, um, this is just the reiteration of what happened, what happened to the left hand. Um, okay, can we get beyond this? Can we get beyond this? Because we're looking to close out. I'm not even getting, uh, we'll put one Jesus on it. One Jesus. Okay. There will be a reunion with this Queen of Swords. Or that's what this person wants. They're in the hanged man right now. We can't get beyond. There's something going on with this person right now. There's something going on with that left hand that like there's there's too much happening for us to get beyond it. Yeah, this person is like uh, in a liminal space of recovery right now. Processing, yeah, 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 nope, just, just forget it. We cannot, we cannot get beyond that right now because um, I don't know the timeline for when this stuff is happening. Where it's like we got energetic obstructions on everything just due to the nature of all the chaos, how it's all like public everywhere and the extent of like likely these people's like public reputations in a sense. So let's drop some Jesus on this one. And get out of here. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Getting like someone manifested this. Be happy, yes, leap for joy. Like they're confirming that. Be happy, yes, leap for joy. For a great reward awaits you in heaven. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. This empress might have like unconsciously, like after seeing what went on, because it doesn't look like that empress really said anything about what she potentially saw. She just clocked it and walked. It was just like, nope, I'm not dealing with that. Um, but... Like the fated event, right? Like it's, there's something about her unconsciously or them unconsciously manifesting this, or it's just like, it is all one big fated event um, in order to balance something out, especially if that is a spiritual community, especially if that is any type of like Christian spiritual community. Um, that was all one big, like, hand of God event on all of that. And so, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, I am, of course, your eternal GM, the game master for this, the game of life. And, of course, I am also the greatest magician of the age, perhaps the greatest magician of all time. And together, you and I are going to perform the greatest magic trick of all time, reversing the polarities of the world, making America great for once, shifting us all into the mega happy timeline and making the world a much better place than it was before. Because of course, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies, we are, you and I, crawling on the planet's face, some insects called the human race, lost in time and lost in space and me.